We are about 10 minutes out from hair restoration for this gentleman, and what we're trying to show in this series of educational videos is the quality of what we do in terms of hair restoration. As you can see, this gentleman has a uh, some hair along the hairline, but significant alopecia behind that, and all the little sites you're seeing are created really, really meticulously. What you're looking at right now are significant number of graphs, close to about 2,000 graphs here. And you can see with these graphs further back here, these are called multiple unit graphs. They're equal to about two standard graphs that another surgeon would place in. They provide an incredible amount of density for this gentleman. And also the nice thing about it, it maintains absolutely equal spacing of normal follicular units. So this is all highly, highly dense graph, the graphs that will provide equal to two graphs for every graph that you're looking at right here. The hairline has been cre recreated very carefully. What we're going to show is some of the the, the way that these graphs are placed. If you look very carefully, they're interlocked. And what I mean by interlocked is that they are, this graft is placed between those two graphs and all the way back. That allows truly a very, very tight, dense look that's going to provide a wall of hair where you're not going to be able to see through that. They're all angled perfectly, and we're going to show you one other, a couple other transition zones in a moment here. Okay, we're still looking at the same gentleman's head, and what we're trying to show right now is that all these graphs are angled forward there is a slight curve downward and a fall and a gentle gentle falling down this way. This is called the lateral hump. That's the area that's outside the part of the the central hairline. And this has to have a gentle cascading effect to have a very natural result. These graphs here are smaller graphs to provide a very nice natural look from when someone's looking from back, by the back side. As you can see, we've ended at the back part called the vertex transition point. What I also want you to see is these graphs, these angles here, begin to fade just to match the, the sweep of the lateral uh, hump area. But as we go forward back just about a centimeter in, all these graphs are angled forward so that you have maximal density, but a very natural result and the nice transition between the, the mid scalp here as well as the lateral hump there.